Coming up on today's Lauren's Crazy Pet Show, a love story that is also the story of the doodle. A close look at some big animals and a very, very happy ending. Welcome to Lauren's Crazy Pet Show. This is Anoki. She's my baby and she's a Bouvier. And you know, I love Bouviers. I can't help it. My family has had them for years. And the other day I was going through Instagram and what do I see? A Bouvier in a sweater. And I said, I've got to see what's going on here. And it turns out that Daisy, the Bouvier, her mom, Bethany, made the sweater and makes sweaters for cats and dogs. And I thought, wow, I've just got to get her to make one for my Anoki too. And then she told me that she was delivering two sweaters to two clients in Connecticut. And wouldn't you know it, the two clients were none other than the Pity Girls. You know the Pity Girls because we introduced you to them not long ago when we were behind the scenes on a photo shoot when they were putting together their calendar right in Lake Mohegan. Bethany, I was so excited when I saw that you had a Bouvier, because you know I'm crazy about them. How did you decide to get a Bouvier? They were just like so cute. I like the hair and they're so gentle. And you're afraid of dogs and you yeah. have a Bouvier, it's so funny. <laughs> she's like a cat. She's absolutely adorable. She's how old? She's only 11 months <gasps> on the 8th. And she's a perfect model. So you making these sweaters yeah. and then I see you on Instagram and I see that you make your Bouvier sweaters. How did you start knitting? Uh, I actually been crocheting for so many years. I started off making like little granny squares for like the cats at the animal shelter. And then I started making scarves and I did craft shows. And then with this big dog, I decided to make like custom sweaters since she doesn't really fit into much in the store. So Bethany, you've actually brought a couple of sweaters that you made for Daisy. And now she's wearing one that's really unusual. It's a Jamaican sweater. Yes, because my boyfriend's Jamaican. I just decided to just, I had the colors at home. So I just put the colors together. I'm like, oh, th this will look cool. So it's like a little Jamaica flag. Does he approve? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have another one? Yes, I made her a pumpkin sweater. So for Halloween, she was a pumpkin. Did she wear it a lot? Yeah, she loves wearing her sweaters. As soon as I pull it out of the closet, she gets all excited and she sits down. She waits for me to put it on her and she knows she's going outside. I love what you made for Anoki. Look at that. That is just fantastic. Inaki likes bright colors. So I'm like, what could I do? So I found this really nice hot pink yarn. And then they said uh, Inaki likes glitter and bling bling. So then I added sparkly yarn in here around the sleeves. And then I made oh, a little bow. I love that. See sparkling? I'm so happy it fits her so well because I know you. when we went back and forth mm -hmm. with the measurements, you were a little yeah. unsure because she seemed really big. Mm -hmm. But I love the way it holds her and also it's long enough for her and her legs can get in it because you mm -hmm. want the animal to be comfortable yeah. in what they wear. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'll be able to wash it hopefully. Yeah, hand wash. She can be a dirty dog. <laughs> hand oh, wash, air dry. And I couldn't <laughs> believe it when I found out that you had some sweaters to deliver to two of your clients in Connecticut it turned out to be the Pity Girls. Yes, they actually put an order in two. They wanted two pink sweaters, and one was gonna be a pink monkey, and the other one was a pink pig. So Jen, this is so exciting. How did you hear about Bethany? I found her on Instagram, and then I found out she made sweaters, and so I had to have sweaters. <laughs> so you ordered up these awesome sweaters. We did. Did you decide on the color? How did it go on? <laughs> well, pink is our signature color. We have to always have pink. So, so and Freya is always my piggy and Neela's always my little monkey. We had to have monkeys and piggies, of oh, course. Oh, and then that. they also have their names on their sweater. And we know that they love clothes, all <laughs> kinds of clothes. Yes, but they do. They probably need those to keep warm and they're so yes, cute. Yes, and they had baths this morning, so they were nice and fresh. <laughs> oh, they're so fluffy and beautiful. And you know, the last time we were here at Lake Mohegan, we actually did a filming with you because the girls were doing their calendar. That's right. And this is their calendar. So it's out. It is. Now you changed them in different outfits. Talk a little bit about this because it is for sale and for a 
wonderful cause. Yes, I do this calendar every year. My girls are really good with dressing up. They will literally wear anything you can think of. I started to do this calendar because I'd like to raise awareness for the pit bull breed and this calendar benefits rescues. So this year, the calendar benefits the local shelter in Bridgeport and they always have tons of pities in there. So we chose them this year to to donate part of our proceeds to. Now people can follow you on Instagram and that's where they can find the calendar, that's yes? That's right. You can find us on Instagram at fierce underscore Freya and the inside also has a bonus story. And I put myself in the calendar Yay, this finally. year, which was hard for me, but I did put myself in the calendar this year. So Bethany, if somebody would like a sweater and they want to contact you and you make them for cats and dogs, uh, where can they find you? Uh, they could reach me at my Instagram, Bouvier Daisy, or my email at bbmanzo194 at gmail.com.